Apparently there's a new crime here in the United States. I didn't know this crime existed. I didn't know it was something you weren't allowed to do. But according to Marjorie Taylor Greene, it is absolutely something that Congress is going to investigate you for not doing. And the crime is apparently not giving money to Republicans. During an appearance on Steve Bannon's podcast this week, Marjorie Taylor Greene said that she is going to be investigating if Republicans take back the House. They're going to launch investigations into the corporations that stopped giving money to Republicans following the January 6th Capitol riot. Now, I'm going to read what she said in just a moment, but let's make this clear. She wants to launch investigations in the companies that said, we're not going to give money to Republicans. That's not a crime. Like that's not even a bad thing. That's a good thing. And for the record, before I even read her quote, it's important to remember that damn near every single company that made the pledge, we're not giving money to Republicans anymore. They all broke it. Most of them within three weeks of making the pledge, but nevertheless, green is still pissed about that. So here's what she had to say. Let's just put it like this. You know what they did after January 6th, Steve, they stopped donating all the lobbyists, all the big corporations stopped donating to a whole bunch of my Republican colleagues that they used to donate to. They said, Oh no, we can't support you because of the big lie or whatever they want to call it. That's not going to be forgotten by a whole bunch of my Republican colleagues because that was really ridiculous and wrong. There is going to be investigations coming and there should be because the way corporations have conducted themselves, I've always called it corporate communism. She then went on to say that these same corporations quote, probably should get a lawyer. Then urge them, urge them after that, stay out of politics and focus on customer service. So. Now let me get this straight. You're mad that they got out of politics by not donating to Republicans. So you want them investigated for getting out of politics and your advice to them is get a lawyer and stay out of politics. Like you want them to do the thing that they did that you think is bad and you want them investigated for, but you want them to keep doing the bad thing. What is in Marjorie Taylor Greene's head? I know there's not a brain. So I'm just wondering what is in there. Is it a little hamster on a wheel? And every now and then the hamster gets off the wheel and goes and gets some water. And that's when she has these idiotic, like brain farts or something, or is it just filled with rocks and marbles? Like if you shook her head, would you just hear like a sound like a maraca? I mean, I genuinely want an answer to that because this woman is not all there. In my opinion, you can't launch investigation. You can't haul corporations into Congress and sit them down and say, why did you stop giving me money? Yeah. Do you understand? And maybe I shouldn't even tell her this, but I'm just so like flabbergasted that I have to say this. Like, do you understand? how the entire American public is going to react when you haul these companies in there and you say, I'm mad. You stopped giving me money. The entire public's going to be like, hold, hold the hell up like this, this, this is what you're doing. You're literally bringing them into Congress to ask why they're not writing you checks anymore. Congratulations. This is your last term in office ever. Now, having said that, I fully endorse this idea. Like, let's do it. Why not? Right? If Republicans want to be stupid, let's be stupid. Let's do the dumbest possible things anybody could ever imagine because it's going to cost you everything in the next election cycle. But Marjorie Taylor Greene doesn't care. She's not smart enough to think down the road. All she wants and all a lot of Republicans want is revenge. And that revenge is going to cost them. So Republicans are going to win the battle, right? They're going to win the midterms. That's the battle. But ultimately they're going to lose the war because of their own stupidity, which means they're probably going to lose the white house, the house, and 
maybe even a couple Senate seats in 2024. So we're going to go through two years of hell and stupidity, but we'll be rewarded for that in 2024 because of idiots like Marjorie Taylor Greene, who clearly don't understand how politics or how the law or how investigations or even what the public wants. She doesn't understand any of it. And she's willing to tank her own party just to prove how stupid she is. I say, let her do it. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.